there's one lesson I took away from my dungeon Airbnb, it's that I, I need more windows. I also don't really know how to follow up from my last video about me having Asperger's, so I'm just gonna not follow up on it. <laughs> I switched locations to St. Kilda in Melbourne and got a new Airbnb in someone else's house. While I prefer not to really live with other people, it did have a nice window. So I'm in St. Kilda now. Um, I don't think I went over that. So, and I've, I've just been kind of uh, not filming a lot because of uh, stuff, but this weather is super weird, so I want to kind of film it. So you can't trust the weather here. One tip on uh, Melbourne. Burn Melbourne. I tried my best with limited budget to still get out and try and live and do things because you only get to do this kind of stuff once. I took a skateboarding class from Airbnb. Who knew that they offer experiences on Airbnb too, which is pretty cool. You have to keep trying in life. I mean, what else are you gonna do? So um, I'm going to a uh, hot springs here. I was hoping to do this when I was in like a really happy mood and that everything was good, but things haven't been good. I still like to vlog. It helps me. So I'm going to vlog some of me going to the hot springs and then tomorrow I have, um, I looked up on meetup and found a group for other Aspies and then maybe I could find some people there and I'm, so I'm just trying really hard while I'm here in Australia to reach out to people because it's been, um, lonely. This is a phase in life right now that I have to go through and I had to go through these sometimes just to learn lessons about things and people and what not to do and what to do and I make a lot of mistakes because you know I don't have a lot of social radar and so I have to deal with things but so we're gonna go to the hot springs today I've never been to hot spring before it's really beautiful out and if you're struggling out there just know that you know, reach out to people. I've been reaching out to my mom a lot. I hope you enjoy the hot spring adventure. I'm gonna meet up with one of my um, one of the people who f who follows me, and two of them actually. And then we're going to go and travel to the peninsula. And it's about a couple hours away from Melbourne, so we're gonna go out in nature. I'm actually so so grateful that I'm able to hang out with people and have a platform to have people reach out to me and be able to connect in that way. So it's really great that I had other girls for friends that I could go to the hot springs with. So we're here at the hot springs, gonna have some relaxation and so it's a very big place and I don't really know where we're going, but we're gonna find some sort of cool pool. How do we get over here? I don't know. We're all three of us are apparently really bad <laughs> directions. So that so, way. So, that way. Yeah. One thing about my mind is it never stops running, it never stops going, and it always makes me overwhelmed and anxious. So a place like this is really nice to go to, to try and just be, and just be in the moment. That's something that's very hard for me. So I'm glad that we were able to just spend the day kind of just being. I'm gonna try and... You did really well. You really did good. Like really minerally. Mm. Oh, that's so hot. 
almost smells like chlorine, but not quite. Yeah. Yeah, now look, my freshly shaved body is burning. <laughs> After the I'm hot spring, you. you also have the option of going in the cold dive, which is freezing cold water. <laughs> Where's the bottom? <laughs> yeah, oh, I, can't, I can't plunge in, I'll get my hair wet. Can some... <laughs> Do you need help? I can't reach it with my foot. They also have a sauna and they also have a ice box room, which was really cool to go into one after another. It's just like I did. I'm so weird. I'm so dramatic. Let's go into the pool. For lunch, we had coffee and vegan pizza, and it was very delicious. It was a good day. Another adventure I had in Melbourne is going to an ice bar, which is the opposite of a hot spring, and it was cold. I guess if you live in Australia, it's a novelty type of thing, but it's not a place that I would go to regularly anywhere else. <laughs> it was cool and cold, and after about half an hour, we had to leave because we were too cold. I signed up on Meetup um, because I'm getting pretty isolated and pretty lonely while traveling. Traveling, kind of just not traveling right now. I'm kind of just waiting to go to the next destination. My mom's probably tired of hearing of me. So I signed up on Meetup and I'm going to go to a Meetup for people with Asperger's. But um, we're gonna make little garden thingies. Okay. Like gravel at the end. Uh, okay. Did you want some moss to have? Um, moss? Oh yeah, I've got some. You've got some moss? Well, I've got lots of moss. So if you feel like it needs a whole lot more moss. I can give you a couple more greens too. Yeah. It was really great to do all these adventures in Melbourne. And I hope to come back someday. I just woke up from a small nap. So... <sighs> I haven't really updated you guys or filmed at all for... A long time now and you guys wouldn't know that because the videos that I've been putting out uh, have been from a while ago so this time right now is it's been a while since I've actually truly filmed something it's hard because I can't talk about things but it's not really about traveling or being alone that I'm I'm my heart's really broken right now and there's so many factors and it's so complicated and it's like I said not something I'm going to talk about but it's really hard to be creative right now. I put things in a fun, adventuresome light. I made a little plant garden and we got coffee and it was actually, I wanna talk more about it. My brain just kind of foggy, but it was actually like super, super nice to be around people that I feel like I could relate with for once. And it was socially fine, everything was fine. There was no awkwardness because we all are the same and <laughs> it felt really, really good. Um, I'm going to embark on another adventure here. I, I hope I have the strength for it. It's something that I've been looking forward to and been wanting to do for a really long time since I've gotten here. 
I met a friend and she's in New Zealand now and for, I'm going to go and live in a van in New Zealand. So we'll see how that goes. Right now I'm living in this hostel. I've been really down. And this isn't something any of you guys like know about or need to know about about what's going on. So don't don't try and like try and figure things out or anything, it doesn't matter. It's just the point of it is that I'm I'm absolutely devastated and heartbroken on the inside. Eventually I'm gonna have to go home. Just because home a home that I don't have, I'm gonna have to go where uh, I was raised. <laughs> So I'm going to continue to try to keep filming because this is real life for me right now. I wish that it wasn't and I wish that I could keep having fun and going on adventures and I realize my mental health is not doing very well in that regard so and I really appreciate you guys coming with me. I know that some of you guys can probably relate. We all go through these times of being lonely and hurt and heartbroken and devastated and traumatized and I think we can all relate on that. And. It's really hard for me to film during those times, during this time, right now even. But I forced myself to pick up the camera because this is my last time in Australia. So I just wanted to wrap everything together and I just want to heal. I'm in this hostel right now, it's super loud. And um, I've just been uh, trying to take care of my life and personal stuff from a distance and with crappy internet. The internet is, does not work here. Uh, stay tuned for where I go next because there is another adventure after this and I pray that it's therapeutic and that I can do it. I love you guys very much. I love Australia. I'm so grateful to have met so many cool people and done pretty cool things. And I hope you guys enjoyed some of the adventures here too. Um, maybe you can leave some positive comments for us all to read. Stay extraterrestrial even if it's hard.